Studying for an exam, writing a paper, or just trying to understand a complex topic can be overwhelming. What if you have an AI tutor that guides you step by step, not just giving answers, but helping you to understand the subject? In today's video, I show you Google's Gemini's new guided learning feature. It is like having a personal learning coach powered by AI, designed to help you learn smarter, not harder. My name is Carlos, and I help small businesses with the Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. A few weeks ago, I was preparing for the Microsoft 700's Team Administrator exam. If you have taken Microsoft Certification exam before, you know the challenge. Tons of topics, and easy to feel overwhelmed. That's where I decided to test out Gemini Guides Learning. Instead of just asking to give me answers, I ask to help me understand the different concepts. Let me show you exactly how I use it. I am accessing my Google account. This is my Google Workspace demo account. And now I'm going to access Gemini. I will click on the nine little dots on the upper right corner and click on Gemini. And now I will start a new chat. Since I'm going to use Guider Learning, I need to click on Tools and then select Guider Learning. Now here, I'm ready to enter my prompt. And it's going to be this. I'm planning to take the MS700 exam in about 10 days. I have done some self-study and read the official Microsoft Learning documentation, but I want to make sure I'm fully prepared and have a plan for my final week of study. Can you help me review the core topics and find my weakest areas? This is how I'm going to start. I click on Submit. In a few seconds, I get the first response. I got here. This is a great approach. Let's make sure you are fully prepared for the MS700 exam. We can work together to review the core concepts and help you identify your strongest and weakest areas. Gemini is showing me here the four main topics that are covered for this exam. The planning and configuration of Microsoft Teams environment. Managing Teams, channel, chats and apps managing meeting and calling, and monitoring, reporting, and troubleshooting teams. Now, Guider Learning is asking me, which of these topics would you like to focus on first? At this point, I'm going to respond this. I want you to help me identify my weakest areas. Let's see how it goes. Now, Gemini is suggesting an approach and it knows that the planning and configuration for Microsoft Teams environment is one of the critical areas on the exam. Now, it is also giving me here the key topics on this area. Planning and implementing network requirements, managing guests and external access, configuring Teams settings for your organization, and integrating Teams with other Microsoft 365 services. Now, I know that managing guests and external access it's a topic that I don't feel quite comfortable. So let's say, let's start with the managing guests and external access. Then I submit. Now it is telling me the main differences between external access and guest access. After taking the exam and pass it, I recognize this is key for the exam. This question here, where are the primary administrative settings for each of these type of access? Is very important. A lot of questions in the exam pay a lot of attention of where settings can be done. I'm going to respond something that may not be exactly the answer. Let's see how it goes. Settings are within the Microsoft Teams Admin Center and Enter ID. Then I click on Submit. And that's exactly right. The settings for both are split between the Teams Admin Center and Enter ID. Then it is telling me, let's dive deeper into the Teams Admin Center first. Where would you go and what specific settings or policies would you configure there to enable and manage guest access? I'm going to respond. I'm not sure where it is. Can you guide me? That's a very common question. And it is a great example of why hands-on practice is so important for this exam. Let's find it together. And it is telling me the primary settings for guest access in the Teams Admin Centers are located under the User section. 
From there, you will see navigation option specifically for guest access. Then it is suggesting to access a Microsoft account and find the settings. I'm going to change direction now. So far, we can see how Gemini is guiding us in such a way that we can understand key points or subjects for the exam. I'm going to change the direction now. Let's see how Gemini can help me in a different way. Now I'm telling Gemini, can we try some Microsoft 700 exam style questions? Let's see how it goes. And this is exactly how MS 700 questions look like. As we can see, Gemini has prepared a 10 questions demo, and I will be able to respond each of them. An administrator needs to allow a user from another organization to join team for a specific project. This user will be able to chat, share files, and collaborate within the team channels. What is the most appropriate method for finding this access? And we have these four different options. Anonymous access, guest access, shared channels, and external access. I'm going to select this one, guest access. And it was right. And Gemini provides an explanation. So I can continue with the questions. You are managing team's policies and need to restrict users from sharing their entire screen. Which policy type and a specific setting should you configure in Teams Admin Center? At this point, I'm going to answer an option that I know is wrong. Live events policies, who can schedule live events? And we will see how Gemini respond to this. It marked my response as wrong, and it provides an explanation why it is wrong. At the same time, it is giving me the right answer, and also providing the information why it is the correct answer. At the end of this quiz, Gemini is able to guide me and go deeper on the errors that I need to improve. Now I'm going to quickly respond to this quiz and see what Gemini told me at the end. It is giving me the score and some additional information that is very useful to understand where I am. And if I continue, I can review the quiz and I can ask for more questions. When I'm ready to move forward, I can move to the left side and continue my chat with Google Gemini and ask to move forward on different subjects. Something that I found during the process is that Gemini will identify when you are ready to move to a different subject. As you move forward, Gemini will tell you what subject or topics you haven't covered. An interesting part of this is that you can start learning or studying on any subject and Gemini Guided Learning will be able to build a path for my study. And this has been a quick review of Gemini Guided Learning. By using Guided Learning this way, I was able to reinforce the areas I was weakest in, and it helped me pass the exam. So whether you are preparing for a certification, writing a research paper, or just curious about new topic, Guided Learning in Gemini's can be your AI study partner. It is all about going beyond the answers and truly understanding. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, just leave it here down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. And remember, stay secure in the cloud, keep tech savvy, and keep learning with AI.